What's up guys, Bryce Welker here with CrushTheCPAExam.com. Today we're going to be talking about which section of the CPA exam you should take first and why the strategy behind it and why this can have a huge impact on the rest of the exams you take after the first one. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you an update about the free giveaway. Um, I'm giving away 20 free CPA study guides. This is the updated 2016 version that is just recently got finished. Uh, that's actually the new cover right behind me. New cover for it. Uh, that was the old one, new one. Oh yeah, big improvement. Um, also 50 new pages of content in there. Um, so don't wanna miss out on that. And you wanna be sure to enter to win because the rules have changed. Um, anyways, I'll get to that at the end of the video. So which section of the CPA exam you should, you should take first is the one that you would be most confident in passing, the one that you have the most knowledge, skill, or experience in. And by that I mean if you were took an auditing class your last semester and you killed it and you got a really good grade and you have been an auditor for the last year or two working at an accounting firm, then it's a no-brainer. You take auditing first because it's going to be the easiest section for you to pass first because that's that's where your strengths are. Um, the reason I always suggest to go with the most confident section first is because momentum is a huge, huge player uh, in being successful to passing all four sections. Um, if you can get that first win and that first pass out of the way and you're feeling good about yourself, then it makes it much easier to study for the, the next sections. Um, I mean, a lot of people like to say, maybe a lot of people choose a strategy to take this harder section first. And usually people think that's far because it's the longest and it's got so much information. But the problem with that is if, if you spend three months studying for far and then you fail, how, is, how does that make you feel about your self-esteem and your momentum just stops? I mean, that just kills it. Take an easy win first, knock one out. And I don't, when I say easy, it's not gonna be easy. None of the sections are easy or this marginally a lot easier than another one. They're all really difficult. Um, but if you can give yourself a little bit of an advantage and go after one that you know you have you know, some confidence and some skill and some knowledge about, then you're gonna be much more likely to carry that momentum into your study routine, your study habits on the second and the third and the fourth section of the CPA exam. Um, so, I mean, at a couple of other examples, um, if you're a bookkeeper, um, and you're really good at reading a P&L and a balance sheet. FAR would probably be a really good section to take first. Uh, if you have a master's in taxation and you work as a tax accountant, then REG would be the best bet for you. Um, if you were really good in finance in college, BEC might be the best road. Um, BEC and audit, they're only three hour exams instead of four. So there's an, also an advantage to doing that because there's less, less material to study in the beginning, uh, less pages to study. And so you won't get, be so overwhelmed. You know, the CPA exam can be overwhelming sometimes and you wanna just take an easy win. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer, it's a common sense. Um, a lot of people try to make it harder than it is and I'm here to try to simplify that because uh, you know, I wasn't even a good accountant and I passed. So you can too. Um, so that's my tip for today about which section to take first. Um, back to the free giveaway. Turns out YouTube doesn't allow me to see my subscribers who subscribes to my channel. I know they did like four years ago, last time I was uh, doing videos and stuff. But that's to enter the giveaway, go to crushthecpaexam.com forward slash polls and you will be um, able to vote on which CPA exam section you took first. So vote on that, and then in the comment section on that page, leave your name and your email address where I should send the study guide. Again, there's 20 of them that I'm gonna be giving out for free. Um, so enter to win and save yourself $47, which is how much you can buy it for. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, next Friday I will announce 